For more information, please visit our website at darkcybernetics.com. This is Dark Cybernetics, Math Max for Computer Sciences. Midpoint formula. Follow on to our free course documentation. To find the midpoint between two lines, well, between two points on the Cartesian plane, we simply need to know the sum of the two points, where m is the midpoint, where we have x1 plus x2 over 2. And the same pattern it goes forth for the y patterns. We just put x1 plus x2 over 2, and we have y1 over 2 plus x2. Alright. So here on this plane, we this video we'll talk about graphing a bit. Suppose there were no lines here, we just need to go over the line. 1, 2, this is 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay, the, the, going this way is positive. We suppose the line intersected here at 5. And on the x-axis, it went over two spaces, three, four, five, eight, okay, that's, that's maybe four, what do you think? Anyway, and this could be a four here, but this is for the positive region of the Cartesian plane. And this part going down is the negative region, so one, two, three, suppose that's four again, I don't know, it could be as close to four, right? Maybe it's three, and this is what five, and it's maybe four or five here. So let's put a four right there. So it's a negative four, not a positive four. And here on the x-axis, these are negative numbers, so we'll just say this is a negative three, and it's this is a negative four here. And let's use a different color here to highlight the region. There's some construction in the background, I'm not sure why, but you know, it happens. One, two, three, four, dot, one, two, three, four. Okay, so we know this this intersected at negative, was this four, positive four, negative four. So let's write that in here. That's a, one over four places in the x axis. It's four. And this is a negative four. All right, okay. So let's check out the other area. So it went up how many places? Went up one, two, three, four, five places, and went over one. As we know, it is um, rise over one run for graphing. So let's go back over and write the points in. This is the x-axis, and this is the y-axis axis for clarification purposes. And the point went up and over one negative went over a negative one position in the Cartesian plane and it went it rose five positions and on the y-axis right so we have for our, we suppose the top one is x1 we have a, so let's use the right the formula in for the, the x-axis the right axis for our x1 we have negative one and five and for our x2, well, our, our position 2, we have a 4 and a negative 4. So we just suppose this is x1 and this is x2 down here. We can simply just you know plug and play here I'm using our first equation where we just say that we can add our negative 1 to our, what is this? This is our positive 4. And we divide this by of course 2 which gives us an improper fraction we draw it over 2 of course and we have to work on the next point where we take the y values where we have to add them together where 1 is a 5 and we have to add it to a negative 4 right this is a 5 up here and we add it to the negative 4 down here. Alright. Negative 4. And we draw it over 2. Since we were adding the numbers together and one of the numbers were negative, I mean, if we add the numbers in a different order, we still get the same answer. So this is okay. 
right? So m is equal to what? And for this first number, we, we add a negative 1 to 4, and we get what? A 3 as a value for this first point, or for the x value. And we divide that number by 3, so we get 1 and 1 half, right? And for the next value, we get a, a, a 1 half which is, you know, we get a 1 on top and a 2 on the bottom. All right, so 5 plus a negative 4 is equal to 1, a negative 1. All right, that's a negative 1. Oh, that's a positive 1, right? It's a negative. And, all right. That looks okay, right? So we can rewrite this number. You know, we have we have a complete value, so we have one and one half, so we put one down. And we write one over two. Okay. For the other half we can say that it is it's a point it's a half of one, so it's point five, right? And you know decimal point you have to put a zero behind it. Because it's fifty, you know, like fifty percent. So we know that graphing it is rise over run. So we know that for the first point, it went up one and, and half of a, a point. So we have to say it went up one and it went up well, so one go half a point. And we have to put the x value in now. And just has to see is it on the line. And indeed it is for this equation. And for more information, please visit our website at darkcybernetics.com.